Hey, 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 everybody, what is going on? Serial Love Drive here, and today we're going to be going over how to run the dome monument in the game Rust. I'm going to be going over how to run up this monument and how to get back down. I see a lot of people messing up the sort of down part of this monument, so I figured I'd make this whole guide, we'd cover it, and we'd get everything out in the open. Before we get into it, one thing to know is you don't need key cards or anything like that, but just like your local 7 Eleven, you do need some clothes on because otherwise you're going to get irradiated. So go up to the nearest body you can find because people are always falling off this thing grab some clothes and let's get going first things first run up this big red pipe jump onto the pipe and run up it if you manage to get up this pipe successfully don't pat yourself on the back because there's still a lot harder stuff to come jump onto these stairs go over here you're gonna see this steel beam run across this beam and hope that there's no jet fuel on it if you're having trouble crossing this beam make sure you crouch down because that's gonna make things all that much easier a lot of people are gonna say if you crouch down you're easier to shoot this is all true but very few people are picking anyone off of don't Hot tip for anyone that's looking to pick anyone off of a monument, dome's a pretty good one to do. Anyways, let's keep going here. So what you're going to be doing going across this platform. Once you get to the end of this platform, I always take a left. If you take a right, you're just sort of ending your life. Now what you do, jump off those barrels, jump up this ladder, get onto this platform, and now you're going to have to just keep going. You can make a jump right here. I always miss the jump, so I don't even bother doing it anymore. The only reason you'd want to do that is for style points, so maybe I should have done it for this video, but it is what it is. Jump onto these pipes. You don't really need to worry too much about the jump or overshooting it. Just jump onto those pipes, run across the pipes, and then make another jump to the next platform. Now we've got the sort of hard part in this. There's just this curved pipe here that you've got to walk across i always crouch down here because you're so far up a lot of guns can't even really reach you or do much damage to you and the people who can are going to be able to snipe you from anywhere on this platform anyways so now you keep going down these platforms you take a left right here and there is one more jump left before you're sort of at in the home stretch right so you make this jump from this platform to this pipe once you get on this pipe walk a few steps forward and jump again and you'll be on the platform now all you've got to do is just follow sort of the not the signs but you've just got to follow the boards up right it's a pretty easy run from here so you just keep going up 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 and what you're going to do is you're going to find yourself at the very top of the dome take in the view take some beautiful shots post them on the instagram but more importantly grab some loot because there is a good amount of loot here this is really why i recommend everybody come to dome because you've got these four boxes right here where you can get some guns you can get some really good loot these are tier two boxes so like these are the only tier well these are the most accessible tier two boxes on the map and a lot of players are just sleeping on this so right now if you run this monument you're gonna have a lot more luck getting stuff than if you run airfield or launch site even because there's a lot more players going there now when you're done looting everything you can go to this side of dome so this is the opposite side from the one you came out or you could literally go back down the way you came up you're gonna see why that works but this is more for if you think someone's chasing you, if you're worried about someone being behind you, you can come down right here. Also note right here, there is a very good ambush spot. So if you're looking to get the jump on someone, this is where you want to do it. So right here, you're going to notice you can drop into dome. Well, you can drop onto this platform from here. But the way I prefer to do it is you go back down onto this pipe right back here. And then you just sort of curve around the platform. It, it seems like it would be difficult to do, but you it, it really isn't. You should be able to do this no problem. And once you're up here, what you can do is drop down onto this platform. But if you're looking to ambush someone, this is the perfect spot to do it from. You are a sitting target right here, but a lot of people aren't going to look up. So you should have the opportunity to get a few shots in, drop down, and really finish someone off. Anyways, once you drop down onto this sort of platform, I'm going to do something that a lot of people probably won't expect. I'm going to backtrack so not because of these boxes but if you go right here you can make this jump again and then you're gonna have a very easy way down so what you want to do make this jump again or literally just go back down the way you came up and then go to this edge of the platform you're gonna see a pipe sticking off from the wall just walk off the wall you land on that pipe walk off again you land on that sort of um, beam again running along the inside of dome now go up to this platform and we're gonna run back up it's a lot of backtracking I know but you're gonna see why we're doing this in just a minute and now instead of going right which a lot of people do go left and now you are simply going to walk off the platform it seems scary, I know. You just walk off the platform, walk off here, drop down here, 
and just like that you are out of dome and a lot of people don't know about that so you're in the home stretch also while we're at it under dome you're actually gonna find some barrels. So if you crack open those barrels, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get some low quality, low grade fuel and some oil. So crack open those barrels, grab the low grade and the oil, and then you run it over here to this refiner, put some wood in and put the oil in. And what you're gonna find is when you come out, you can just pick up a healthy dose of uh, low quality fuel. Do remember though, breaking those barrels open does make some noise, so keep that in mind, depending on how stealthy you wanna be and how populated your server is. Maybe you don't wanna do this, maybe you do wanna do this, but those that those are my tips, and that's how you run Dome. Hopefully this video helps some of you out. If it did, please hit the like button, and if you're interested, hit the subscribe button, because I do a ton of Rust videos. Whether you're looking for updates or content on how to do something or how to get better, or just someone that's talking about the game, my channel is hopefully gonna be one of the channels that keeps popping up in your feed. So if you don't hit subscribe now, you're just gonna end up hitting it later. So let's save yourself the time, hit it, and um, until next time, peace.